Introducing the Rhine Cervical Disc, the next evolution in cervical disc technology, not approved for sale or distribution in the U.S. The Rhine Cervical Disc features a one-piece compressible polymer intended to closely mimic the physiologic balance of a human disc. Rhine Disc has a 15-degree circumferential range of motion, allowing a balance of the disc in the axial, coronal, and sagittal plane. A proprietary overmolding process integrates the high-performance polymer with titanium alloy end plates, a procedure that is designed to minimize wear between the two materials. Split keels and plasma-coated end plates are featured to promote bone disc fixation. The domed cranial end plate is designed to minimize height at the leading edge and mimic cervical anatomy. Versatile instrumentation simplifies the surgical technique by giving the option to trial either with or without keel cutting. An adjustable stop on both the trials and inserter allows for controlled positioning of the disc from the anterior edge. The Rhine Cervical Disc Set is designed for a total disc replacement surgical approach. Perform a standard incision to expose the anterior cervical spine. Then complete a standard discectomy. Removal of the superficial layers of cartilaginous end plates results in exposure of bleeding bone. Trials match the disc size to ensure an accurate fit. Gradually increase trial size until a secure fit is achieved. A properly sized disc should be securely seated between the end plates when the segment is appropriately distracted. If desired, a disc spreader is available to aid in distraction. Keel pathway preparation can be accomplished simultaneously with trial insertion or sequentially after optimal trial position has been achieved. Rhine cervical discs are available in three footprints, 12 by 15, 14 by 17, and 16 by 19 millimeters. Each footprint is offered in heights of 6 millimeters and 7 millimeters. Rhine cervical discs are individually sterile packaged and designed to facilitate easy loading of the disc onto the cervical disc inserter. To begin implantation, Load the disc onto the inserter by first ensuring the grips of the inserter are fully opened. Grips are opened by rotating the proximal knob on the inserter in a counterclockwise direction. Position the distal end of the inserter to the anterior side of the disc. Indicators on the disc aid in determining correct orientation during loading and implantation. Rotate the proximal knob of the inserter in a clockwise direction to close the grips and secure the disc to the inserter. Like the trials, the inserter is equipped with an adjustable stop to offset the position of the disc from the anterior edge of the vertebral body. Prior to implantation of the disc, rotate the central knob in a counterclockwise direction for a more anterior placement of the disc and clockwise direction for a more posterior placement of the disc. Once the desired anterior-posterior position of the disc has been set, align the disc within the keel path created within the disc space and continue with implantation. After the disc is properly seated within the disc space, rotate the proximal knob of the inserter in a counterclockwise direction to disengage the disc from the inserter. The Rhine disc is composed of a compressible polymer, allowing for up to 15 degrees of circumferential bending and a true 6 degrees of freedom, intended to closely mimic the human disc. If removal or realignment of the disc is needed, the cervical disc removal tool is available. The cervical disc removal tool functions similarly to the inserter and is equipped with larger grips on the distal tip to provide a stronger engagement to a disc that has already been implanted. When the construct is complete, perform a standard multi-layer wound closure. The Rhine Cervical Disc System